The Internews Center for Innovation and Learning is excited to announce the official launch of its website, innovation.internews.org. The website has been configured to share projects, initiatives, and research of the center, provide overviews and helpful tools for the media development sector, and highlight the insights of our innovation advisors through their personal blog posts. The majority of the information on our site is provided by our innovation advisors specialists in the field of information communications technologies and media development who live in the regions where Internews works. Anahi is based in Africa, Denise is in Europe and Eurasia, Sam is in Asia, and Samir is in the Middle East and North Africa. These four individuals are plugged into the media scene and work together with the Internews teams on the ground to develop innovative and cutting-edge projects that test new technology or repurpose old ones. If you click on their profiles, up here you can see all of the posts that they've added to the website. The information they produce for our site is full of valuable insights and provides guidance and advice for current and developing field initiatives. I'm going to walk you through the website so you can have a better sense of how it all works. The website is structured so users can access information through a variety of channels. All of the information on our site is aggregated and organized by an expanding list of topics which are chosen monthly by our innovation advisors. For example, if you're interested in running an innovation lab, you can click on this link to find out all of the blog posts that have been written about labs. Tools are also listed under topics when applicable. Another way to access information is by using our handy dandy search bar. So you can come up here and if you already know what you're interested in, say mapping, you can type it in and search for it on our site. The site will pull together all of the pilots, tools, and blogs that mention mapping. Finally, as I mentioned before, if you're specifically interested in a region, you can click on an innovation advisor who works in that region. Everything they've produced for the site will be brought up. Now for the content. First, the Innovation Advisors blogs. At the Center for Innovation and Learning, we believe in using collective knowledge and best practices as resources to eliminate the need to reinvent the wheel. Our Innovation Advisors are constantly investigating the latest tools and innovative projects to share with the media development community through their blogs. Innovation Advisors are constantly posting new blogs, so check back often. Next, tools. Keeping up with ever-changing technology can be a full-time job. The Center makes the job a little easier by providing an index of tools that are helpful to the field of media development. Each tool profile has been provided by our Innovation Advisor and offers a brief overview of what the tool does, highlights key features, lists what Internews global issues it pertains to, Describes appropriate applications for the tool, so you'll be able to assess whether or not it's a good fit for your project. And highlights resource considerations, such as time commitment, technical expertise needed to implement the tool, and cost considerations. On the right side of the page, you can see who the author of the post was, other tools the author has posted, and other innovation advisors who are knowledgeable about this tool. This way, you are able to reach out through our Contact Us section, which is under the About link on our navigation bar, and post any questions about the tools and know who to direct them to. Moving on to pilots. The Internews Center for Innovation and Learning believes in pushing the limits by thinking outside of the box. Our 2012 pilot projects are just getting off the ground, but you can find blog posts about our 2011 pilots here. Research. Understanding why something does or doesn't work is the cornerstone of learning and advancing our mission of understanding and catalyzing the information exchange. A research agenda is developed along with every project at the center. Here you can come and read a summary of our reports and download the PDFs. The research from our 2011 projects is currently going through the final stages before publication, so check back soon for more reports. And finally, initiatives. The Center believes that major themes in media development warrant research on a grand scale to understand potential impacts and future trends. Some of the major themes the Center has investigated include the information ecologies and the expanding world of data and mobile mapping technology. 
The center just finalized stage one of the CrowdGlobe project, which tracks deployments and research on mobile mapping technologies. You can link to this project and our media map initiative through this page. As is the philosophy of the center, we strive to stay fluid and react quickly to produce the most effective and useful products. Therefore, we encourage you to participate in the formation and fine-tuning of our site by providing feedback and comments. Our goal is to make this site a key resource for media development practitioners and help advance the field as a whole.